Hello everybody, in the previous video lectures, we generally analyzed the first order RC and IL circuits under different conditions. Okay, now our goal is analyzing first order circuits RC and RL when they are integrated with opens. Okay, so for example, in this example, we had OPAM, uh, and as you can see, we have a capacitor. Okay, and we have two resistors. So input voltage is given as 10 times U of the U of the step voltage, which means that VI T is equal to zero when T is less than zero. VI T is equal to 10 when T is greater than equal to zero. Okay, so we technically uh, start applying voltage uh, after T is equal to zero. Okay, and it's also given that it's not directly given in the uh, problem. Uh, the uh, capacitor and all of the circuit is under at rest or steady state conditions uh, right before t is equal to zero, which means that Vc0 is equal to zero. So there's no initial condition on uh, capacitor. So in general, in first order circuits, what we do is if we don't have any initial condition, we can write Vc of t as V infinity times one minus e to the power minus t divided by two. Okay, so this formula is perfectly fine even if you have opams. Okay, so computation of v infinity is in. Okay, so we apply the voltage, we analyze circuit under uh, steady state conditions. Uh, but uh, when we computing the tau time constant, what we need to do is we need to compute equivalent resistance between these terminals. Okay, so when there is an opam, it's kind of tricky to compute that. Okay, so, but it's not uh, hard. But it's tricky. Okay, so what we need to do is, so since VI acts like an active source, we need to connect this to the ground. Okay, so this is open. There's no connection to the V of T. You need to connect a voltage source here. Okay, so give it one volt and compute the current in this direction to compute the equal resistance. As I told you, this is perfectly fine. You can do that, uh, but it's kind of tricky. Okay, the other technique that I will solve uh, is, instead of doing this, we will directly try to write Differential equation ODE, ODE, okay, using the variable of VC. Okay, we have a capacitor. We will try to write a differential equation with respect to capacitor, and then we will try to compute the time constant. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so and we are analyzing the circuit when T is greater than zero, and this is technically. 10 volts. We can directly use that. There's no problem with that. Okay, that's good. So let's do that. So this is, let's call it I1, and let's call it I5, and this is IC. Okay, so this is positive con sign combination. This is VC. Okay, so first of all, it's easy to see that VC is equal to V0 or V0. V0. Okay, so output voltage is equal to capacitor voltage, which kind of simplifies uh, our computations. Okay, so in that respect, let's write a KVL. So this is zero, this is zero volt, and there's the, no current here, there's no current here. So we can write a technically uh, Kirchhoff current law at this node, which says that I1 plus I5 plus IC is equal to zero. So what is I1? I1 is equal to 10 divided by 100. Okay, that's good. What is I phi? I phi is equal to VC divided by 500. That's good. Okay. And what is IC? IC is equal to C times DVC over DT. It's equal to zero. So what is C? C is equal to... Okay, so I will write it uh, later. So that's uh, the differential equation. Okay, so let's uh, make it uh, a little bit cleaner. Okay. So dvc over dt plus, okay, so vc, so this is rc, let's call it r5, okay, times c, that's good, okay, it's equal to, okay, 10, 0 0.1, that's good, divided by c, 0 0.01, okay, so this is equal to, and minus, it is minus, Okay, so let's write the differential equation, dv dt plus 1 over r5c times vc, which is equal to minus 10 volts. Okay, so if you remember, when we uh, drive the time constant of a uh, RC circuit, 
this quantity was equal to 1 over time constant. So tau is equal to R5 times C, which is equal to what's R5? 500 times 0 0.01, which is equal to, I guess, 5 seconds. Okay, so let's check. It's correct. As you can see, this is correct. Okay, that's good. So uh, the next step is uh, computing the infinite. Okay, so there are two ways of doing this. This is a simple ordinary differential equation. Okay, so all you already know the time constant. Okay, so you know Vi, which is 10 volts. Okay, you know C, you know Ri. Okay, uh, technically you know this. Uh, and uh, the infinity is technically the particle solution of the differential equation. Uh, you technically plug a constant to Vc and try to find that. Okay, this is also perfectly fine, but also we can you can use the technique we already applied in uh, classical RC circuits. So under, uh, analyzing the circuit under steady state conditions. Okay, so under steady state conditions, capacitor becomes an open circuit, right? Okay, so we technically eliminate that from the circuit. Okay, so it has a voltage, but it's an open circuit. And VO is technically uh, driven by state state conditions. In that sense, VO divided by 500 is equal to minus VI divided by 100 because, okay, this is zero volt. There is no current here. There is no current here. The current just goes from this. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so VO is equal to uh, minus 10. 500 divided by 100, so VO is equal to, as you can see, minus 50 volts. So technically, the infinity is equal to minus 50 volts. I compute tau and compute with infinity. I can now compute uh, VOT as a function of time. Okay, VOT is equal to V infinity minus 50 times 1 minus e to the power minus 1 over 5 times t. Okay, I have minus here. I can write it like this. 50 times e to the power minus 1 over 5 t plus 1. 